Now this is a story about a group of kids who wouldn't obey their teacher. Now listen to this, I'ma tell you the truth, I ain't no liar. Here's how we made the show called The Forest Fire. In Carolina Forest is where it begins. We had a simple assignment, but we didn't listen. We had to make a show, but we was relaxing all cool and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of girls who were in our class said they wanted to make the show so they could all pass. Then in walked the teacher. Her name is Miss Jones. She said if we don't make a show, we'd all get zeros. So we pulled up to school. It was a brand new day. Anchors, interviews, and weather all knew what to say. Everybody came together in the studio, and that's how we made this fantastic show, The Forest Fire. The Forest Fire. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Forest Fire. I'm Troy. And I'm Kyle. Let's see what's going on in our academic inbox. You don't know how you met me, you don't know why You can't turn around and say goodbye All you know is when I'm with you, I make you free And swim through your veins like a fish in the sea I'm singing, follow me, everything is alright I'll be the one to tuck you in at night And if you want to leave, I can guarantee You won't find nobody else like me I'm not worried about the ring you wear cause That's all for the inbox. Now let's pass it over to Mary who interviewed Markel about pasta for pennies. I'm here with Markel interviewing him about pennies for pasta. So what is Pennies for Pasta? Pennies for Pasta is a fundraiser student council is doing for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Foundation, which is actually a type of blood cancer. You're raising money in your second block, change, bills, dollars, anything, and you're gonna try to raise the most money. So what do the winners get? First place winners get a catered Olive Garden lunch, and second and third block winners, th second and third place winners get donuts. And what's the goal this year? The goal is $2,000. Thanks. Back to you guys and see ya. Thanks, Mary. Let's see what the weather's like with Alex. What's up, Panthers? It's Alex here with your weather forecast. It's a little chilly outside today. The high is 52. Tomorrow it's going to warm up a little bit with highs in the 60s. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Alex. Now let's pass it over to Spence and Ashley with sports. But first, let's watch this short message about PDA. So, how do you guys feel about PDA? What's PDA? <laughs> here to ask you guys how you feel about PDA in school. PDA. Y'all need to keep that somewhere else because I don't want to see that in the middle of the hallway. You'd be stopping, causing up messes, I have to walk around you. No, you don't want to like PDA, not at school. Mm -mm. So, how do you guys feel about PDA in school? Oh, I don't like it. I think it's like, I want to see everybody, like, I want to see you mating in the hallway, like. Right. So, Stuart, how do you feel about PDA? Um, I feel like it's okay, and if you want to touch somebody, go ahead and touch them, but I don't want you to be touching them around me. PDA gets me a little fired up, because you know why? I'm tired of seeing kids hugging and kissing. It's gross. School's for education. Learn stuff, kids. Learn stuff. And that is not the type of education we have here at Carolina Forest. This great institution of higher learning. So, PDA, no bueno. Not good. Uh-uh. And y'all, if you keep doing it, are going to need Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. What's up, Panthers? I'm Spencer. And I'm Ashley. Let's see what's going on in the sports inbox. But you don't look ashamed and baby I'm not scared I'm singing follow me everything is all right I'll be the one to tuck you in at night and if you want to leave I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me
Updates. Now let's kick it over to Allie who interviewed Bryce about soccer. Hi guys, I'm here with varsity soccer player Bryce Gerald. So you guys had a game on Tuesday night. How did it go? It went good. We won 3 nothing. It was a pretty easy win. And who do you guys play next and where? We play Sumter this Friday at home 7.30. From the outcome of last game, how do you guys think you're going to play this time? I think, well, we still got to go out there and play hard, but I feel like we can come out with a win. Cool. Well, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Allie. That's all for your Forest Fire Sports. Now let's pass it back to Troy and Kyle. Thanks for watching the Forest Fire. And have a thrilling Thursday. You're better off if you don't.